Let's say you're asked to play something in the key of D, and D is not your favorite key. Here's an exercise that uh, will help you familiarize yourself and maybe get you out of a sticky situation. Start off by playing a, a, a D chord, just a simple D in root position. But make a note of the root and the fifth. The first and the fifth are two of the safest notes to play when you're playing in a foreign key. They may not always be the nicest, but they, they work with just about every chord in the key. So the first and the fifth of that key. So I'm playing a D. Then I'm trying a D2. Now remember, this is an exercise to get you familiar with a key that you're not too comfortable with. So just start playing this in maybe a dotted crotchet rhythm. Playing D2s, alternating them with Ds. Now the next step is go down to the relative minor, which is B. B is the relative minor of D. It's a minor third below D. Now if you can't work out your relative minor, you don't know what it is, here's a simple thing to, to get you started. You just say, under the ground. Now I'm not going to sing that again because that's very cheesy and very corny, but it helps you remember it. Okay, so it's three semitones below, or it's a minor third below. Now what do I mean by B is the relative minor of D? Well, B is related to D so closely that I consider B is like the, the sad version of a D chord. Here's D, here's, here's the sad sort of, the sad version of D. And we'll talk about that in another video, but for, for the time being, our exercise now consists of a D chord. We're going down to the relative minor three semitones below, I'm still playing the same thing in the right hand, but now what I'm doing is I'm playing a B minor chord. Okay, so this, so we've started off with a D, and now we've gone to a B minor. Then we go a tone below this B, go down one tone from the B, and we get to A. I'm still doing the same thing in the right hand, but now what this results in is, a, is an A sus chord, A sus. So from the start I've got a, a D chord, I'm familiar with that now. I've now produced a B minor without doing much uh, in the right hand. I'm playing an A sus without changing the right hand very much either. And on the last chord I go down a tone again from the A and I get to G. Which is D, G, A. Now, instead of playing D, E, A in the right hand, I've just changed it to D, G, A. This, this produces a G2 chord. This is G. Put the 2 in. That's G2. G, A, D. I've inverted it, so it's D, G, A, G, 2. Now, what's the point of this exercise? Well, if you don't know much about the key of D, well, now you know how to play the four most common chords because we've played the D, the B minor, the A sus, and the G without really moving my right hand. In an emergency, this is what you do. Is switch situation by just uh, playing the first and the fifth. Much better with that third note. Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is the best progression to play in the key of D. I'm saying if you're unfamiliar with the key, first and the fifth, go down three semitones to the relative minor. Go down another tone, and you get your A sus. You get the fifth of that key. And you go down, you get the fourth of the key. G2. Those are the four most common chords in a song. The first, the fourth, and the fifth, and the relative minor. So if we tried that in a, in a really foreign key, let's say you're, you're playing in the key of, uh, let's say, A flat. And you don't really know anything about A flat. You don't even know the, uh, how many... Um, flats there are in A flat, but you know your A flat chord. And there it is there. Okay, so I know my first and my fifth. The very first thing I can do is just play the first and the fifth, put the A flat in the left hand. Go down three semitones under the ground. I, I said I wasn't going to say it again, but I couldn't resist. Two and three and four. We're going under the ground to F. Going down a tone to E flat. Going down a tone to 
it just out of my camera shot, but yeah, there's a D flat just over there. I played higher. Going to F. Going to E flat. Going down to D flat. So if I'm asked to play a progression in the key of A flat, there you have it. Now you can obviously rearrange the, the order in the left hand, the, the, the order of the chords, but your right hand just stays on 1 and 5, and if you're brave enough, then you put that middle note in. Going to E flat, which is the fifth of key, and going to D flat, and that's when I put the D flat in the right hand as well. 